All right, all right. I know I'm a little bit late to this legging game, but a lot of you guys still ask me on my Instagram about petrolatum and Vaseline, petroleum jelly, whatever you wanna call it. So I am going to be covering that today on my channel. We're gonna go through the Vaseline product, petrolatum, what it is, what it does for the skin, what is slugging, how people use it, and then also any kind of cautionary statements about slugging or using it on the skin um, and when not to use it. So if you wanna learn a little bit about petrolatum, and Vaseline, then just keep watching. Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome. I'm a biochemist, cosmetic formulator, and a business consultant for skincare startups. And today we're gonna to be talking about Vaseline, also known as petroleum jelly, also known as petrolatum. So petrolatum is the ingredient name that is present in Vaseline and a lot of other brands have their own version of this as well, but there's only one ingredient in here and it's called petrolatum. Now petrolatum is a byproduct of the oil and gas industry, but it is just that a byproduct. We definitely are not mining for petrolatum. Um, so it, a lot of people question its sustainability, but the truth is we live in an economy and an energy consumption world that does rely on oil and gas. So using the byproducts for other purposes and not wasting them is not really an issue. And it is a very cost effective ingredient for its purpose. There's really no better alternative at this time. This is what it is. Let's move past the sustainability part of that and get onto what the heck this is. So petrolatum is like, a thick wax, like an oily wax, and it is very occlusive. Now, an occlusive agent just means that it creates a seal, a solid seal on the skin where nothing can get in or out. So it creates that protective barrier on the skin. Other occlusive ingredients include things like mineral oil and waxes like acetyl alcohol or beeswax or canaba wax, lanolin or lecithin, some phytosterols or cholesterols. Anyways, there's a lot of different occlusive, oh, and silicones like dimethicone. So there's lots of different types of occlusive agents and they all work very in the, very much so in the same way. Petrolatum is definitely one of the most economical and affordable, and that's why it's probably the most widely used. So the whole slugging thing became popular, I don't know, maybe two, one to two years ago, back in 2020, 2021. Um, and it's basically where at the end of your skincare routine, you finish off with just like a pea sized amount of Vaseline or petrolatum on top of your skincare routine to seal in everything that you put on prior. Um, so this would seal in any serums with active ingredients or any moisturizers, etc. And people saw really great results with it because not only does it create a solid seal on the skin to completely eliminate trans epidermal water loss, but it also creates that occlusive layer so the active ingredients that you have applied on your skin actually can get deeper into the skin and can be more effective. So this sounds really great in principle. Now in practice, there is a few things that people tend not to like about slugging, um, and that is one, it just gives you kind of a really shiny face and it's pretty icky feeling on the skin. Well, that's my personal opinion. And you don't need a lot. So I think a lot of people overdo it a little bit with this as well. You don't need a lot to get the effects of it. But me personally, I just find that my skincare routine works well without it and I don't really need it, even though I do have dry skin. There are a couple of instances that it is really, really great. Like if you do have extreme dry skin or a compromised skin barrier, um, maybe you did too much retinoids or too much alpha hydroxy acids or peels or something, and you do have pretty severe burning or uh, irritation on your skin, you can apply a very inert, gentle moisturizer and then apply some petrolatum on top and it is going to really help repair your skin's barrier because you're just allowing everything to be sealed off and your skin can kind of repair itself underneath without any external um, influence like dryness or whatever it is. It definitely has its place if you do have extreme dry skin, cracked skin on your elbows or your knees or your heels or whatever, you can definitely apply a moisturizer and then apply Vaseline on top and you will definitely see that that's where it has the best effect. I mean, I have a daughter, so I use this on her bum when we do diaper changes and it creates a seal so that, so that her skin does not come in contact with the things that come into the diaper. <laughs> so it's sealing off her skin so that there's less irritation and redness, etc. So it definitely has its purpose. Um, now that I have had a 
little one i cannot see myself ever really using that on my face again it's just for me it is a diaper product uh how i use vaseline though is i have this little tub and i like to apply just a tiny like literally the tiniest little bit onto my lips basically as a lip balm for some reason i'm not sure why anytime i've purchased a lip balm I will lose it within a week, but I have had this little tub of Vaseline for going strong like eight months now and I can't seem to lose it. So this has been the only thing that I'm using on my lips to keep them moisturized during the day. Um, just basically creating a seal to eliminate any moisture or drying of my lips. Anyways, there is a couple of instances where you do not want to be using petrolatum on the skin in the slugging way and that is when you're using any really intense kind of active ingredients so that would be something like retinoids or uh, prescription skin lighteners like hydroquinone or um, alpha hydroxy acids because what it does is it creates this occlusive layer where basically those ingredients can go much deeper into the skin and cause a lot of irritation and burning and redness and it's just not good. So any kind of active ingredient where it has a tendency to cause any sensitivity or redness on the skin, you wanna avoid using it paired with an occlusive agent like petrolatum. And this is just a safety precautionary measure to make sure that you're not going to, you know, cause more harm than good with that ingredient. So always make sure that you are following instructions from any kind of prescription that you have, but you definitely wanna make sure you're not using a Vaseline on top of anything like that, or even skincare products that have retinol or alpha hydroxy acids, you don't wanna be pairing them with a Vaseline because you do just increase the, upper, uh, the chance of having a bad reaction and a burn and causing like severe damage that would be really hard to reverse. So it's not worth it in those instances, you definitely can pair it over just like a hydrating serum and a moisturizer to lock in all of that hydration, those humectants like glycerin and hyaluronic acid and polysaccharides, it pairs really well with those. Um, and then emollients for in moisturizers like squalane, like ceramides, if you put um, a petrolatum on top, you're gonna enhance those ingredients. I think an occlusive that is really underrated is like dimethicone. It is a fantastic occlusive ingredient. It's found in a lot of like primers and makeup products and it does create that um, barrier on the skin so it's another example of an ingredient that's often demonized but does really the same thing as the whole slugging so it is nice to have silicones in the last step of your skincare routine to really lock in all of those ingredients as well so just keep that in mind so yeah i know i'm super late to this whole slugging train but you guys have asked me a lot uh, recently on instagram about vaseline and petrolatum products so i thought i would just cover it quickly here so let me know if you do slugging down in the comments below and if you find that it enhances your routine or if you've tried it and you're like it's kind of icky um it definitely like i don't like the feeling of it because it just never sinks in right it just always you have like a slick on your face and it just gets on your pillow and this and that and maybe I i've done it using too much but i just find that my skincare routine doesn't really need it and i prefer just having a nice moisturizer that sets and sinks into my skin before going to sleep and everything but that's just me everybody's different i know people have had some amazing results with it so if you are that person and you love slugging definitely let me know down in the comments below and also let me know guys what other topics you want me to cover i'm kind of going back and remaking videos on all kind of the basics you know i just did retinol i just did dry scalp uh, today we're doing vaseline i would like to cover niacinamide and vitamin c again in the near future so let me know what kind of kind of basic skincare things you would like me to go over again and make kind of just a very simple one two three step <laughs> video about because that's what i'm doing right now that's what i'm in the groove for so yeah i hope that you found this informative or <laughs> educational in some kind of way and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video